taking us a break on the log. We about sweated our paint off. It's not that hot. It's like 82. I think it's about 215. We checked the place on the hill a while ago for crab apples. It was a bust. There's a little sign, but not much. I always tend to end up down here in the swamp. We're going to sit on a log. We've been uh, probably three quarters of a mile. We're going to sit here and rest a minute. we still got a full mile left to go. And we'll be sitting on a, probably three quarters of a mile left to go. We'll be sitting on a hot, hot persimmon. Three of them, actually. I can shoot all of them. I come in here. That's the place I climbed where I got rained out. And when I was sitting there, persimmons were raining out of it. I mean, they were dropping big time. A lot of sun. There's two persimmons I'm going to check. And uh, when I checked them back in uh, a week or so before the season, they had persimmons on them. I'm going to make me a loop around, headed towards the back, and see if they do anything. Take our time. And uh, enjoy the day. It's beautiful. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm coming up on the tree I got high hopes for here. I've never climbed it. I think it's right, yeah, right there it is. It's a good sign already, and we ain't even up there to it. It's that, uh, one thing that's sweet about this, you got a slough here, a dip there. My buddy Clay Harper, he had a camera right up here on this hill. A couple years ago, I came by, I saw his camera there, shot him a piece of him, and he put a video online of a humongous copperhead crawling right there while he was in the tree. It's cool business. He knows probably right where I'm at. You got a slough there, and of course the one we in, and there's the tree. And I can see a lot of persimmons in that jumper too, a lot of them. Sign here we got deer. A tree that's on fire won't have hardly any ripe persimmons on the ground. Got the old snakes under this joker here. Ooh -wee. There's one right there, right when it bust when it hits the ground. That's when they're good. This is a good tree you need sitting on right here. It sure does. We'll be back to this one. Let's head on through the swamp and get on the tree we're going up this evening. All right, guys. We have the tree here on a persimmon. I'll show you around in just a second. And uh, there's at least 10 fell while I just got settled in here. I ain't been in this tree five minutes. Quit sweating finally. And, uh, it's beautiful, though persimmon that we checked earlier I'm probably going to set it Lord willing either tomorrow or the next day but uh, I hate to say it this one here is like two miles deep but the other one even looks better but this one looks good it's down to the bare dirt around the sides there and, uh, I've killed on this tree before the last critter I killed here I killed a doe with a stone point right here I had one of the best hunts of my life here probably Two or three, the one year I was hunting with primitive equipment, stone points and all, I sat on the ground over there and I had a, a small buck come through and wind me. Then I had uh, two boars, about 100, 100 pounds each, came in. I didn't want to shoot either one of them, they wouldn't be fit to eat. And they rooted around out here for a while and fed around in front of me 15 yards, probably five minutes. That's a long time. And then uh, they kind of locked up and trotted off. And two does came behind me. And uh, I mean, I probably could have touched one with my longbow. She realized something was up and blew and took off. Excuse me. Then two more does came off the hill right here and they got out in front of me and spooked. And when to me, they came the same way that little buck did. And then a red pig came out right before dark and I was wanting to shoot that chucker bad. And he come around and got to the end, and he hooked around and got the wind on me. 
It's a really good hunt. I didn't even sling an arrow, but it was great. I came back the next week and climbed a tree right over there and killed one with a stone point. One of the does and two does that came in, it was one of them. And I hadn't, uh, I climbed here last year one time. I climbed once over there and had a, I let a, a boar, about a 150 pound boar go. Squirrel barking over there, that usually means good stuff. And I also, uh, had a doe come under me right here. I was climbing a different tree, but she was actually under me where I would have been at right now. And a coon came and climbed up her seven and run her off. Well, I got high hopes for this afternoon. Well, see, these trees are just getting right. There's at least two weeks in these trees. I'm not gonna hunt them to death. I know I won't hunt this one to death because it's too far to get back here. So squirrel barking over here. Let me show y'all around. Persimmon just fell right there. There's the persimmon tree right here. Right there. Persimmon just hit the dirt right there somewhere. I see several persimmons on the ground there. You hear a squirrel bark like that one just did. If you could hear him, that was caused by a hawk or an owl. There's a persimmon right there. I can hear a stupid dog. I can't win. I didn't hear a boat on the river. They may be on the other side, I don't know. That's crazy. All right, guys. We had the truck right here. I would have. I got down a while ago, the dogs had been raising sand. I don't know if you could hear them or not. And so I got down and started slipping my way back here. There's some more persimmons back this way and thought I might, you know, might see a hog. I couldn't, I, I mean, the dogs come right up here to me. So anyway, and I heard stuff bust out in front of me before the dogs, when the dogs were barking, but before they got there, so I know they run everything off. So as I was easing through there, coming up, uh, there's some persimmons, my friend, uh, Chris Harper, he's hunted them last year. I don't, I don't think nobody's hunting them this year. But I was easing up through there, and there was two does there. So uh, I was able to. It worked. It's whenever I kill a deer off the ground walking, it ain't because I'm a stalking fool. It's because it, it's just luck. And I saw uh, saw the two deer, and I was in a slough, easing down the slough, and I got up next to the bank. And about the time I was getting pretty close, and, and uh, I was thinking this this might work. And uh, had an arrow on string and everything. And uh, one of the does, a smaller one, uh, I guess you would call it a maiden doe, she came across to my left. And when she got behind some stuff, I came up on the hill that she was on with her. And she circled by me at about 16 yards. And I shot her. I hit her a little bit back. I went over there. And after she ran off, I went and looked. And there was, uh, I didn't hear a crash. And that's, that bothered me. But I could tell I was back some. Not terrible back, but back some. So I went and looked, and it's liver blood, but there's some brown matter, too. So uh, it's supposed to be 59 tonight, and for South Georgia, that's cool. And I shot her. It was right at, I mean, I was just fixing to have to come out with some flashlights to get out. And uh, so what I'm saying, it ain't been that long ago since I shot her. So uh, I'm going to go home, get a shower and all, and be over here at the crack of daylight maybe a little bit before that and get on the blood then. So uh, we'll see what happens. See y'all in the morning. Well, we came in this morning and uh, I don't know why I'm sweating. It ain't but like 65 degrees. It's humid in here. And uh, found our deer in pretty short order. It was uh, a smaller doe than I thought. 
And uh, so hopefully I just, this is the uh, smallest deer of the year that I'll kill. But on the ground, it was it was late. I was coming out there and uh, I'm making no excuses. I'd shoot him again. But, uh, or her, it was a little doe. And I thought it was uh, a year and a half doe, but actually it's a doe from this year. A little, a, a fawn from this year, but she's, uh, you know, I'm going to eat her. She's good to eat. And uh, make no excuses, I shot, uh, made a pretty decent shot there. And she was running, she, I trailed her a little ways last night, and uh, she went farther than I thought she should. And I could see uh, what looked like liver blood. And so I said, shoot us. It was uh, actually, when I got in the truck to come over here, it was 50, 58 degrees. So that ain't too bad. And uh, so, I mean, I'm sure that the meat's good. So, so anyway, first deer of the year, I'm going to show you a quick glimpse. I don't want no rabbit jokes. That's all you get. But uh, off the ground, I'm tickled. It was a... I want to say it was a fun hunt, but it was not. <laughs> I started out, I went what we call the two mile persimmon. It's really, it's only about a mile and a half, but um, it feels like three as you get older. And I sat there from 3.30 till an hour before dark, hour and a half, and some, I don't know if you could hear them, but some dogs came in there. And I was gonna sit there with maybe a deer coming. I could hear critters busting out of the palmettas before the dogs got there or right when the dogs got there. So I sat there and I said, that's stupid to sit there. I'll get down and come see if I can find a hog on the way out and come up on my buddy, Chris Harper's persimmons right here. He hunts these sometimes. We all have hunted them. Everybody that hunts here and all killed animals on them. But it's a wind trap. It's, you seldom do good climbing there. But anyway, as I was easing through there, there was two does there. And this one, veered off to the left and went up on a hill there. They didn't know I was in the world. And uh, I got up on the bank and took about 10 steps and she walked. I happened to just be where she was going. That's the way it is, shooting deer off the ground sometimes on foot. You just luck into it. So if I ain't mistaken, that's the first critter taken with a Creek Walker Trader co Trading Company longbow, a gator. And he names his line of bows that ASL are gators, but mine is named the gator. So the rest of you cats don't even think about it. Mine's, mine's name is Gator. And he's already chomped one, even though it was a small one, it'll be some good eating. And it's a start. We'll keep on getting after him. Thank y'all for watching my videos. I've been, it's been an abnormal season. The weather, I mean, for it raining every evening and I'm not gonna hunt in the rain. And uh, if I had pushed this deer last night, I probably wouldn't have found a deer because it's thick. Thick, thick where I'm at right here. But I had good blood though. I, I lost blood for a little ways and I made a loop and found some on a palmetto. And then I went from there and she didn't go where, like a lot of times deer run a straight line, get on a trail or whatever. But liver shot deer ain't running hard like a lung shot deer and they'll actually hit trails and meander. And that's, that's what she did. First deer of the year, I fist put her in the sack, put her on some ice and uh, Try to find number two, only a little bigger. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching my videos. Y'all keep the good Lord first. Life is good.